I'm Nancy Dean, and I'm the co-owner of Black Building Relationship, and I'm here today with my husband, Patrick. Hello. And we'd like to welcome you um, to this kind of informal, spontaneous question-answer period. <laughs> and uh, we have on Black Belt, uh, our Black Belt fan page and Black Belt and Relationship, we have people that email us questions often. So we decided to do videos and answer the questions to the best of our ability in a short period of time and try to serve as many people as we can. And this question came in and I thought I'd present it to you. These are spontaneous. He gets them. I don't see them. I get them. He doesn't see them. So he's not, he doesn't know what this question is. But the question came in is, of how do you forgive in relationship? Wow. What a question. Uh, how do you forgive in relationship? Well, I think one of the ways to operate from forgiveness is to go inside of yourself and look at the things that you've done or that I've done in my life that I could sincerely ask for forgiveness for other people for doing or forgiving myself for that matter so going inside yourself and going and go excuse me going inside myself and looking for places in my life that I could have asked for forgiveness and know that sometimes I stumble on the way in my life and I've made mistakes in my life and I've done some things that that really have not been uh, supporting other people or myself and in that fact I think that I'm human and and make mistakes and if I can take that experience and really touch that experience in my heart then I think I can look at another person and go they may have done the best they knew how in that moment or that was the greatest expression of love that they had in that moment or they were lost in that moment themselves. And I think that that is a very tough practice because it's easy to hold a grudge. It's easy to hold something that you want to blame another person for because it gives you leverage over the other person or leverage over the situation or protects you, which is all normal and natural stuff. But I think, I think that that's it. I think that you got to just touch in that imperfection in yourself sometimes to really be able to touch and feel uh, true forgiveness for the other person. It doesn't mean you don't forget it or it isn't a good lesson or any of that kind of stuff that we talk about. But it means that you do have to touch the deepest part of your humanity, humanity to really operate for, from forgiveness. Does that make sense? Yes, and I remember one day you said something that just really hit me like a, I mean, it was just like, oh my gosh. And I had been in lots of rooms with you and lots of seminars. And you said that forgiveness is no longer holding that person responsible for the quality of your life. Hmm. That forgiveness is no longer holding another person responsible for the quality of your life and that for me was huge mm -hmm. because I looked at the people in which I had resentment or even with you you know in certain things that that I and I went okay well I'm obviously holding him hostage at <laughs> some level to yeah. to that he's responsible for the quality of my life and he's not yeah I have choice, you know, and I can make a choice about it. But I think betrayal and, and hurt is, is, is it, you almost have to go through the experience of it to let it go. I mean, you can't rationalize it or intellectualize betrayal or, or pain. I mean, it's like you really have to kind of experience it and then, you know, choose your life. 
Yeah, you know, you and I have spent so many, so so long uh, in um, transformational seminars with people that that we've had this, we've had, we've talked about people about forgiveness for for many 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 years, and I and I think I think one of the things is that you got to look at the reason you're not forgiving, mm -hmm. and and I think the the reason we don't forgive many times is because. We, as I said earlier, we want control over the situation. Or many times we don't forgive people because we feel they have to pay to get our attention and love back. Or that people need to pay a price, and that price is we isolate them or push them away. And actually, in doing that, we may feel better, like more righteous, but in the other way, it, it, it's something that really harms us at a deep level. I can't, I can't tell you how many conversations I've been in with people that, uh, that have been truly wronged and truly, you know, that people have totally betrayed them and they won't let go of it because um, I'm going to use it as a protection from now on and I learned my lesson and da 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 and they need to pay and, and, and all that. And that's just completely separating ourselves from the humanity of another person. It doesn't mean we're not angry about it. It doesn't mean that that we don't, like I said, learn learn a lesson about it. But it 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 means that you gotta really be in the practice of wanting an extraordinary life to be in the practice yes. of forgiveness. And and uh, what a great question! Oh. Yeah, I have a, a sign above my desk that says, "The truly brave are those who can forgive." Wow. All right. Well, I got my practice for today. Thank you, guys. We, Thank you. Uh, we want to see you on the uh, the dojo call every Tuesday Every other night. Tuesday. Right. Every other Tuesday and check out Black Belt and Relationship. We're going to have more of these discussions, and I hope they have value for you. And please comment and, and stay on Facebook with us. Yes, comment. Thank right. you. Thank you.